Welcome back to day 12 of the 100 horror films in 31 days. Three films. First up is the sequel to Night Stalker, and that's Night Strangler. Bringing back again the iconic Kolchak character with Darren McGavin. Simon Oakland back again as his boss. This time they've moved from Las Vegas. They got fired from Las Vegas, and now they're in Seattle uh, investigating some Jack the Ripper-ish type killings uh, that are basically turned out to be, spoiler alert, for those of you that don't want to know, fast forward, but uh, spoiler alert, hopefully everybody's seen these. I mean, these are classic films. Uh, an elixir to keep someone, in, uh, a doctor immortal. Dr. Richard Malcolm is a Civil War doctor that's killing people every 21 years to create this elixir of immortality. Uh, you know, pretty pretty interesting stuff. Again, what makes these films so good, and what Kolchak is so good, is the, the investigative element and his interaction with his boss. I mean, that's what makes these cinema gold. And Darren McGavin is just fantastic. The Night Strangler was, was directed by Dan Curtis, and it was so successful that it spawned the TV series. Uh, I like the first one better, but, uh, you know, I like this one as well. Got to check out the Kino. This is a Kino release. I need to check out the special features at some point. Next up, 1973, Torso, Sergio Martino. This is a giallo proto slasher about a, uh, a guy that's basically killing people with this Fallard. A Fallard, I guess, is a fancy name for a... Uh, an ascot or you know a neck a neck scarf it was a kind of a red and black neck scarf uh, the last 30 minutes of this where the killer is kind of toying with his victim and she's she's uh, locked herself in a room and and she's trying to get the key to get out and and the killer's on the other side of the door and he puts the key on the uh, this piece of paper that she's trying to slide in and out that that's classic stuff um, very, very, I mean, it's a classic giallo. If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. One of Sergio Martino's best, best films. This is an Arrow release. Just a Blu-ray and a booklet. Pretty, pretty gruesome. Pretty gruesome in parts, actually. That, that's why a lot of people consider it kind of a proto-slasher. Uh, and then I finally wrapped the day up with 2009, The Hills Run Red. I've watched this a few times. Um, this is directed by a guy named Dave Parker, who did a lot of CSI TV shows. Um, it, it's a... It's an interesting... It's an interesting idea. A con concept. It's a slasher film, but it's got an interesting concept where a group of kids young 20-somethings are trying to find the lost slasher film that was never released and they're trying to locate the director uh, of the film and in doing so they meet a dead end by the baby uh, they, but they become basically part of the slasher film that was never finished the last 20 minutes this doesn't, this film doesn't hold up to multiple viewings I don't think there's too many ridiculous plot twists. The last 20, 30 minutes just become over the top ridiculous. Uh, and I just think the plot twists are, they don't work. I mean, I think they worked okay the first time I watched it, but but multiple viewings, it just doesn't hold up. Uh, but it's not a bad one. It's not a bad slasher film. I give it a five out of 10. Uh, <clears throat> I don't. I think this has a Blu-ray release. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm satisfied with the DVD. It's not. It's not one of my favorites. All right. Well, that's a quick update on day 12. Appreciate you watching.